guys welcome to the channel learning support icsc class 7 students let us do maths chapter speed distance and time exercise 12a and we will be solving question 1 to 10 first question of exercise 12a is convert each of the following speeds into meter per second we are given four sub questions in which speed is given in kilometer per hour and we have to convert it into meter per second this can be done very easily if we multiply speed in kilometer per hour by 5 by 18 we get speed in meter per second but from where we got this 5 by 18 factor it is important to understand so let's see 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and 1 hour is 60 into 60 seconds so on cancelling two zeros we get 10 by 36 on cancelling these two we have 5 by 18 now that mystery of 5 by 18 is solved let us convert 90 km per hour to meter per second we can cancel 90 and 18 by using 18's table 90 is 18 fives are and 18 ones are 18 We are now left with five fives are twenty-five, which is speed in meter per second. In second sub question, let us convert twenty-seven kilometer per hour to meter per second. This can be done by multiplying twenty-seven by five by eighteen. We can cancel twenty-seven and eighteen by using nine's table. Nine twos are eighteen, and nine threes are twenty-seven. So now we are left with three fives are fifteen by two. If you divide fifteen by two, you get the answer seven point five. So twenty-seven kilometer per hour equals to seven point five meter per second. In third sub question, to convert three one five kilometer per hour to meter per second, we will multiply it by five by eighteen. Let us check whether three one five is divisible by nine. Three plus one plus five equals to nine, and one plus eight equals to nine. So eighteen and three one five both are divisible by nine. We will cancel eighteen by using nine twos. Let us now cancel three one five by using nine's table. We will take thirty one and use nine threes are twenty seven. But thirty one is four more, so we will transfer that to five. It becomes forty five, and we will use nine fives are forty five. So now we have thirty five into five by two. Thirty five into five is one seventy five. So one seventy five by two. If we divide this, we get answer eighty seven point five. So three one five kilometer per hour is eighty seven point five meter per second. In sub question four, we have to convert sixteen point two kilometer per hour to meter per second. We'll do it by multiplying by five by eighteen. We'll use nine table for eighteen. Nine twos are eighteen, and for sixteen point two also we'll use nine table. See, for sixteen it is nine ones are nine, but sixteen is seven more, so two will become seventy two. We can cancel that by using eight nine are seventy two. So. On cancelling sixteen point two, we have one point eight multiplied by five divided by two. One point eight multiplied by five is nine. Nine divided by two is four point five. So sixteen point two kilometer per hour is four point five meter per second. In second question, we have to do the reverse. We are given speed in meter per second, and we have to convert it into kilometer per hour. And factor for conversion of meter per second to kilometer per hour is 18 by 5. That is, if we multiply speed in meter per second by 18 by 5, we get speed in kilometer per hour. First sub question: 35 meter per second. We'll multiply it by 18 by 5 to convert into kilometer per hour. For 5 and 35, we will use 5 table. 5 ones are 5. Five sevens are thirty-five. We are left with seven into eighteen, which comes to one twenty-six kilometer per hour. The question is fourteen meter per second. We will multiply it by eighteen by five. Nothing is getting cancelled here, so we will multiply fourteen and eighteen, and we have two fifty-two by five, which on division comes to fifty point four kilometer per hour. So fourteen meter per second is fifty point four kilometer per hour. A third sub question is sixty meter per second. We have to multiply it by eighteen by five to convert it into kilometer per hour. 
we can use 5's table to cancel 5 and 60. 5 ones are 5 and 5 twelves are 60. So we have 12 multiplied by 18. 12 multiplied by 18 is 216 kilometer per hour. So 60 meter per second is 216 kilometer per hour. In fourth sub question, we have to convert 3.5 meter per second to kilometer per hour. We will multiply it by 18 by 5. Now the cancellation part. We can use 5's table to cancel 5 ones are. Cancelling 3.5 by using 5's table gives us 0 0.7. 0 0.7 multiplied by 18 is 12.6. So 3.5 meter per second is equals to 12.6 kilometer per hour. If you are confused about cancelling numbers which have decimal point, there is alternative method. You can always remove decimal point. 3.5 can be written as 35 by 10 and multiplied by 18 by 5. We can now cancel 5 and 35 using 5's table. 5 ones are 5 sevens are 35. So now we have 7 into 18 by 10. 7 into 18 is 126. 126 by 10 is 12.6 km per hour. So question 2 is done. Let's move on to question 3. And the question is a car travels a distance of 258 km in 3 hour 35 minutes. What is the speed of the car? Formula for speed is distance upon time. We have distance 258 km. Time given is 3 hours 35 minutes. 35 minute part we will convert to hours by dividing it by 60. So we have time equals to 3 35 by 60. 35 and 60 we will cancel using 5's table so we have 3 7 by 12. We now have time in mixed fraction so let us convert into proper fraction 3 into 12 plus 7 by 12 which comes to 43 by 12. Let us now substitute distance in kilometers and time in hours in speed formula so we have 258 divided by 43 by 12. We will now convert division sign to multiplication and write reciprocal of 43 by 12. So we have 258 multiplied by 12 by 43. Now we will cancel 258 and 43 using 43's table. 43 ones are and 43 six are is 258. So now we have 6 into 12. 6 twelves are is 72. So speed of car is 72 km per hour. Let us do fourth question. A train covers 14 kilometers in 8 minutes. What is the speed of train? We are given distance in kilometers and time is in minutes. To find speed in kilometer per hour, we have to change time in minutes to time in hours. For that, we have to divide 8 by 60 to convert it into hours. So, let's see, we have distance 14 kilometer, time is equal to 8 minutes that is 8 by 60 if we use force table to cancel them we have 2 by 15 hour time is 2 by 15 hour now let us substitute distance and time in the formula we have 14 divided by 12 by 15 our next step will be to convert division to multiplication and write reciprocal of 2 by 15 so we have 14 multiplied by 15 by 2 we will use 2's table to cancel 14 and 2. So we have 7 into 15 which comes to 105 km per hour. So speed of train is 105 km per hour. Our next question. A man can walk 8 km in 1 hour 15 minutes. Find his speed. We are given distance in kilometers and time is in hour and minute. So we have to convert time in hours. So we have distance 8 kilometers time 1 hour 15 minutes. 15 minutes we will divide by 60 to convert it into hours. So we have 1 plus 15 by 60 which on cancelling comes to 1 by 4. So time equals to 1 plus 1 by 4. 1 1 by 4 equals to 5 by 4. Time is 5 by 4 hours. Now we will use this formula speed is equals to distance upon time. We will substitute the values of distance and time in this we have 8 divided by 5 by 4. Division will convert to multiplication and we will write reciprocal of 5 by 4. So we have 8 multiplied by 4 by 5. Nothing is getting cancelled here. So we will multiply 4 and 8. We have 32 by 5 which on division comes to 6.4. So man speed is 6.4 km per hour. 
क्वेश्चन सिक्स राहुल साइकिल्स एट ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर पर आर हाउ मच डिस्टेंस डज ही कवर इन थर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स इन लास्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन वी हैड टू फाइंड स्पीड बट इन दिस सम वी आर गिवन स्पीड वी आर गिवन टाइम एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड डिस्टेंस सो इट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट स्पीड इज ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर्स पर आर टाइम इज अगेन इन मिनट्स इट इज थर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स सो वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इट इन टू आर्स बाय डिवाइडिंग बाय सिक्सटी थर्टी सिक्स बाय सिक्सटी इक्वल्स टू सिक्स बाय टेन ऑन कैंसलिंग यूजिंग सिक्स टेबल सो टाइम इज सिक्स बाय टेन आर्स लेट सी वॉट फॉर्मूला वी हैव टू यूज should we use speed is equals to distance upon time no we will slightly twist it because we want to find distance so time will get multiplied by speed and we have distance is equals to speed into time we will substitute the values of speed and time we have 12 multiplied by 6 into 10 when 6 is 72 and 72 by 10 is 7.2 km So Rahul covers 7.2 kilometers in 36 minutes. Let us have look at seventh question. Ravi walks at a uniform speed of 4 km per hour. How much time does he take to cover 600 meters? We are given speed 4 km per hour. Time we have to find and distance we are given 600 meters. So we have to convert it into kilometers by dividing it by thousand so we have distance is equals to 0.6 kilometers now let's see what formula we should use to find time let us first write speed is equals to distance upon time here speed and time exchange their places and we have time equals to distance upon speed let us now substitute distance and time in the formula we have 0.6 upon 4 Here distance is in kilometers and speed is in kilometer per hour. So time which we will get will be in hours. So let us convert it into minutes first by multiplying it by sixty because one hour is equals to sixty minutes. Now zero point six into sixty is thirty six. Thirty six by four is nine. So our answer is nine minutes. And Ravi takes nine minutes to cover six hundred meters. Next question. Question eight. A train is running at 45 km per hour. How far does it go in 8 seconds? So we have speed 45 km per hour. How far it goes that means we have to find distance and time given is 8 seconds. Formula for distance is very simple. Distance is equals to speed into time. But the only problem is difference in units. Speed is given in km per hour and time is in second so first thing we will do is change the speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second the way we did in first question so we have 45 kilometer per hour equals to 45 into 5 by 18 to change it into meter per second we will use nine table to cancel 45 and 18 nine fives are and nine twos are so we have five fives are 25 by 2 Which comes to twelve point five meter per second. Speed is in meter per second. Time is in seconds. We can now substitute these values in formula. So we have twelve point five multiplied by eight, which comes to hundred meter. So the train moves hundred meter in eight seconds. Let us see what we have in question nine. Which is more, a speed of thirty-six kilometer per hour or speed of ten point five meter per second? We have to decide which speed is more, thirty-six kilometer per hour or ten point five meter per second. But unless both are in same units, we won't be able to tell. So what we will do, we will convert thirty-six kilometer per hour to meter per second, and to do that, we will multiply it by five by eighteen. So we have. Thirty-six into five by eighteen. We will cancel thirty-six and eighteen by using eighteen's table. Eighteen ones are and eighteen twos are. So now we have two into five, that is ten meter per second. Thirty-six kilometer per hour is same as ten meter per second. So out of these two speeds, ten point five meter per second is definitely more. Let's do tenth question now. A car running at a 45 km per hour takes 6 hours to cover a journey at what speed must it travel to complete the journey in 5 hours we have two parts in the question in one part we are given 
speed 45 km per hour and time is 6 hours. In second part, we have to find speed and we are given only time, that is 5 hours. But only from time we can't find speed. We need distance also. That we will find from first part of the equation where we are given speed and time. We will find distance from first part and use that distance in second part of the question to find speed. Because same distance has to be covered in 5 hours instead of 6 hours. So distance is same in both cases. Let's find distance. Distance is equal to speed into time. That is 45 into 6. It comes to 270 kilometers. This same distance has to be covered in 5 hours and we have to find speed. So, speed is equal to distance upon time, that is 270 upon 5, which on division comes to 54 km per hour. So, car has to have speed of 54 km per hour to complete the journey in 5 hours. Well, that's all for today. More sums in next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.